All right, what is up guys? So if you're watching this video, you're probably looking at installing a flywheel weight or weighted flywheel on your dirt bike. So in this video, we're gonna be installing the Steely off-road flywheel weight on my YZ250. I went with the nine ounce. So before we install it, I'm gonna take the bike out, take it around the yard and just get a feel for it. And then we'll put this thing on and take it back out in the yard and do a back-to-back -back comparison. So let's jump right in. Just plugging this is second gear. We put it in third and see if we can lug. So this is third gear. It feels like she's wanting to stall. We're right at that point. She's still still going in third. We put it in fourth. She's still going. Right about stalling point. So lots of rear wheel spin. So let's go throw that flywheel weight on and we will see how she does. Okay guys, this is gonna be the test with the nine ounce steely flywheel weight installed on the bike. Let's get going. This thing still feels like really peppy. Yeah, nice. Fifth gear, it literally just, that is crazy. This thing's like a tractor, bro. Wow. That's really cool. Wow. So yeah, this thing is like, no clutch. It doesn't take away from the poppiness. I don't feel like it tamed it too much, which is nice. I'm sure if you were doing like some hard enduros, you'd probably want to go for the 13 ounce. But it feels really smooth. It's super smooth. I can't wait 
wait to take this thing to the track. Like you're not gonna be able to use the clutch. You're not gonna need to use the clutch like at all. This is awesome. Yeah, super cool. Okay, so there we go. But dang, dude, that thing does not want to stall. Like, I had to try and stall that thing. It does start easy. I can noticeably tell it starts easy. Not that this bike was ever super hard to start, but these things, you know, they're high compression. Like... All right, this is first gear. Let's try and do this. Check it out, let's go up this hill. Dude, this is nuts. <laughs> it's like, it, not like a four stroke. It doesn't turn your bike into a TTR, but like, it just allows you to lug. But it's still responsive, and it'll still pop the front wheel up without even using the clutch. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. See that? Like, we're going so slow right now. How oh, am I not stalling this thing? Alright guys, you can't tell, I'm really happy with this. Highly recommend it. Even the 9 ounce is such a big difference for just not having anything on there at all. So I can only imagine having like a 13 ounce on this thing, that'd be crazy. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. So, peace out.